Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 71 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. In this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, the travel season, the, the show season. The fall seems to be when we go to the most shows. A little bit in the summer, a lot in the fall. So we'll be able to come out and see lots of you here over the next three, four months. Uh, we'll, we're excited for that. We got to do a little bit in, in Pomona. got to see a lot of you in person. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about this last weekend. Sean went went to Daytona. And then we got a whole bunch more shows and things we're going to. And so look forward to seeing in the comments any of you that are going to any of these uh, shows or, or uh, get togethers that we're going to. You'll have to let us know in the comments so we can make sure to meet up with you. Um, as for results that are coming out, uh, as, as has been since Allie got back from uh, being on vacation, we're still good to go. Allie's, you know, trucking along again. Uh, so our fast tests and sex determination, well, fast tests are coming out pretty much every day. And then sex determination, usually twice a week. So three to five business day turnaround once we get your sheds for sex determination for colubrids or pythons. And then for uh, the panel tests uh, that I'm just starting uh, another run right now. So probably the earliest you have results would be this weekend, maybe like Monday, Tuesday, next week will be when those results are going out. So, so they're coming quick and uh, <laughs> it's a run, another run I'm very excited for. The last one was cool because we got a lot of research, a lot of new stuff uh, on it. And this one we've got even more and uh, we're, we're getting close. We're crossing T's and dotting I's, but I'm very looking very much forward to next week or the week after we should finally be to a point where we can start talking about some of the new tests that we have coming out. Um, but yeah, lots of really cool stuff on the last run, lots of really cool new stuff on this run. So, so next week, that's, that's the downside. I might still be analyzing it when we record the show next week, but we got lots of cool stuff coming. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have for updates. How, how are you doing, Kayla? Hey Ben, I'm doing great. I am so excited for this, well, for this this next research run. Uh, I'm excited to see what people get in their next panels. Um, so if you do get something cool in this next panel run, tag us on social media, especially if you got a picture of the animal. It's like, oh my gosh, they're actually ahead for this. Or they have an entire like homozygous gene in their like a mutation that should be visible, but you can't see it. And now you can because of genetics. That's cool stuff. Um, plus, I'm looking forward to the sex determination run because I got some stuff in there too. So yeah. Um, It'll be cool. Uh, and yeah, thank you, Allie. You're amazing. You're like our secret weapon. Uh, <laughs> Sean calls Ben the secret sauce since he's our geneticist, but I, I call Allie our secret weapon just because she's always doing uh, chugging away on those uh, tests and very much uh, making those quack, quick turnarounds possible. So um, yes. mad appreciation. Love the team. Um, but yeah, let's. Oh, and look, Potato's joining us today. Um, yes. She's no help, but she's very pretty, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, let's talk about business stuff. What's that? I said she's getting prettier, too. She's cleaning up. I know. What a good girl. Uh, <laughs> when she wants to be, which isn't very often, but it's fine. <laughs> so, so knocking some business stuff out of the way, and Potatoes once again joined us here. And stop scratching on my chair. Um, uh, if you're interested in getting, like, multiple mutations tested um, in, like, in the same animal, um, but you don't want to run a full panel, we do have the option on our partners, our partner vendors, uh, Morph Market and Clutch, where you're able to do uh, two tests, three tests, and four test bundles, or more um, in this, like, a la carte style uh, mutation test selection. Uh, so Morph Market calls it their build your own. Clutch calls it their bundles. Um, and we just wanted to make sure that you guys are aware of that because they're super useful. Um, and uh, well, Ben, do you want to uh, take it from there? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's just nice when we first started making the panels available and then kind of the smaller panels with blue-eyed Lucy and yellow belly. A lot yeah. of people said, hey, you know, I want to be able to test for these three or four or five that are the the tests I'm interested in for these animals. So this way mm -hmm. you can choose whatever, however many, if it's one or two or three or four or five and, you know, whatever combination you want. So that's really nice that, you know, you have that price break, even if you're just paying for a test for one animal or two or three animals, you can get that price break. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so, and that can quickly add, I mean, that can quickly add up into 
uh, a bulk order, actually. So for example, we've got this little, uh, well, this little thing here. So if you're just testing four snakes uh, for five mutations each, um, that's 20 tests, which could make it a bulk order, which can give you even more of a discount if you know what you want to test. And with bulk orders moving into that, we can do that for sex determination tests. So it's not just a mutation thing, um, at least for now, while while we're still getting ready to do colubrid uh, and other species mutation. Uh, ben, do you want to talk about um, a little more of the numbers in bulk orders? Yeah. So if you want to just test two or three animals for multiple tests, that's the uh, the bundles in the build your own. But if yep. you have lots of animals you want to test, or even if you have five or 10, but you want to test them for four or five, five tests each mm -hmm. and it becomes a, a bulk order. Um, so first of all, you, you send an email to Sean at raregeninc at gmail.com and mm -hmm. just let him know specifically what you want. He'll be able to give you the, the best uh, discount we can give you and directly. And, uh, but the, the thing about that is if you know that um, you want, likely 50 tests, but you don't know for sure what they are. That's fine. He'll give you a quote for that yeah. and you will get a discount. But if you know, Hey, I want bundles of two for 10 animals and bundles of three for seven animals or, you know, however, if you already know that up front, then what Sean will do is he'll give you that bundle or build your own discount first. And then he'll give you our discount ab above that. So like if yes. you were testing, you know, five animals for, four different tests, you'll mm -hmm. automatically get that bundle or build your own discount. And then Sean will take some off of that in addition. So the more detailed, you know, the better, but if you want that flexibility of just saying, okay, I want to, I know I'm going to need at least 50 animals tested, but I don't know for sure how many tests per animal or whatever, then Sean can give you a, a quote on that as well. So whatever level you want to do that at, just shoot Sean an email and he will hook you up. Exactly. I mean, the ultimate goal is to make shed testing a little bit more cost effective for breeders because that's, uh, well, that's nicer for you guys. Um, we're able to actually help more breeders, which is what we want to do, uh, breeders and keepers. Um, and of course, pointing out uh, for our colubrid people, you know, if you do have uh, like that can be as low as $15 per test. If you're testing a whole bunch of babies and um, after going through my first season of breeding baby rat snakes and trying to pop that many little dudes, that's kind of hard. Um, and even for seasoned, experienced people who have done this for years, it's not 100%. Um, and so you can have that guarantee by and also save you the time and stress and mess um, of, you know, having to pop that many baby colubrids because uh, they're just little guys. And I especially people who have like teeny tinies, like things smaller than corn snakes. Those of you who are out there breeding the diminutive colubrids, I don't know how you do it uh, beforehand. So we're happy to help. Um, so yeah, uh, that's our business stuff today. Um, so let's talk about the show that Sean went to this weekend. Yeah. So like I said, in the beginning, uh, we're talking about shows and where we're going this year. And Sean yeah. actually just got, he actually might even still be flying right now. I don't know for sure if he's back to Texas yet, but he did yeah. get to go to Daytona and Got to meet lots of people, talk to lots of people. So let us know mm -hmm. in the comments if you got to meet Sean. Uh, I, I don't think he was uh, mistaken for, I don't think he was mistaken for a police officer this time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he looks he looks like he he blends in a little bit more this time. Um, and he, he, he looks like, you know, standard reptile guy, I think, <laughs> um, in this picture. But that's JLP Morphs, who's uh, someone that we're, we've start, recently started sponsoring. Um, so love that we were able to get a picture with them. Um, really pretty setup they've got there. Uh, and likewise with Balls and Strikes Pythons, another person we're sponsoring. And uh, something cool that we've actually started that I think we've started doing um, for our sponsors, the sponsees, excuse me, um, are these window clings that um, they're able to put on um, their rack setups at shows that say they're tested by Rare Genetics. So it's kind of a little extra guarantee about those hets. Like not only is it a hundred percent het, or it is exactly what it says on the tin. Um, you know, it's, it's tested guaranteed. Um, and it has that like rare genetics assurance logo on it. Um, so we were able to start rolling those out and we think that's really cool. Uh, just wanted you guys to be able to see that. And, um, uh, Sean hasn't come back to us with any uh, stories from the show, but I'm sure we'll get some soon. Um, yeah. 
And we've got a busy fall ahead of us, don't we, Ben? Yes, we'll be going lots of places. Yes. Um, so first, well, the next show that we're going to be at is the Dallas, Texas show, uh, NARBC. Um, Sean should be there, maybe Allie as well. Um, and so, uh, yeah, if you're going to Dallas, um, let us know. Uh, that'll be on September 7th through 8th. The uh, extra cool thing about that show is oh, it's yeah. right by our Texas lab where the fast testing gets done. So yeah. if you are going to the Dallas show and you bring sheds there, um, you can either do it through the emailing Sean if you've got a group that you want to get a discount on or you're going through Clutch or Morph Market, however... Uh, but then you can just bring those sheds to the Dallas uh, NARBC show. And so bring them on Saturday or Sunday and you'll have your results probably Tuesday, Tuesday night. Um, but you maybe we, I talked to Sean about we might even try to make it happen for you. on. Um, but yeah, for sure. Oh, cool. By Tuesday night. So you can drop them off in person and then by Tuesday night, you'll have your results. So that's pretty cool. That is um, awesome. Also, if you have any sheds, and this goes for any of the shows we'll be at, but especially the Dallas one, since it's right by where we have a lot of our resources. So um, anything that, you know, you're interested in having a test for a new species or a new uh, morph in, in ball pythons or, or whatever it be, sex determination, um, we will very happily collect sheds for, for uh, developing new tests as well. Yes, definitely. Um, and, uh, likewise for, uh, later that same month, we're going to Colubrid Fest, which is the, uh, very first show of its kind, actually. Um, and we're very proud to be a sponsor of Colubrid Fest. Uh, fun, fun background for this. Uh, one of the founders of Colubrid Test, Clint Bartley, was actually the guy I got my very first rat snake from. So my very first snake ever several years back. Uh, so I happened to know him and like watched him uh, and Zach Lauman like develop Colubrid and Colubroid radio, radio on their podcast. So it's really cool to uh, that we're able to go up go up there this fall. Um, so it should be fun. And if you are if you are Colubrid people and you want to see uh, Colubrid tests um, and mutation tests for us in the future, definitely bring your sheds if you're coming. Um, or if you know somebody who is coming, send some sheds with them. Any known genetics animals, we will take it. And likewise, if you have sex determination tests that you have ordered from us in the same way, you can bring them to other shows. You can bring them to us as well. And we and? do plan. It's looking good that we will have a first of its kind uh, type of test for some colubrids uh, ready for customers by Colubrid Fest. So yeah! right now, very good that, that that test will be, I guess I'll, I'll kind of give it away. It, it's going to be for uh, indigo snakes. Uh, <laughs> it will be a, a, a new type of test that we'll also be developing for other species as well. But indigos, it looks like, are going to be the first ones that's going to work. Now, that being said, something we could hit another hurdle. We've hit several hurdles while we've been trying to develop this kind of a test. But yeah. Uh, it's looking really, really good right now. So, so yeah, hopefully we'll have a new uh, Colubrid test, a new type of test that we'll be able to have available by the time we get to Colubrid Fest. I'm so excited. I hope so. Oh my gosh. Uh, fingers crossed that it goes smoothly and we can have something, uh, something new to roll out there. That would be, or in time for Colubrid Fest. So that would be really yeah. exciting, um, especially for indigo snakes. That is amazing. I've been really like, and I know that the dry, dry Marcon community has really uh, come in with come in clutch with a bunch of good uh, shed donations in the past as well. So oh, yeah. that's yeah, really I've, cool. Hundreds and hundreds of Dry Marcon sheds. It's it's nice. Very, they've done an excellent job of collecting and getting sheds to. All right, good job, Dry Marcon community. We really couldn't do it without y'all. Uh, and the next show we're going to is the October twelfth and thirteenth Tinley show. Um, I think that's still the biggest one in the country, right? Uh, like that or maybe Pomona? Yeah, Pomona, there's definitely a lot of people coming through. I, I don't know numbers wise, but it, I think that the Tinley show, like as far as, you know, being able, it, it's nice that it's in October. So pretty much everyone's got all their babies hatched out for the year. And yeah, 
already eating. So it's, it's a really good time. And then it's like in the middle of the country. So, you know, people on the East coast and West coast don't have to cr fly across the whole United States to get to it. It's kind of a nice middle area. So yeah. I would say it's a really good show. If you want to see like the newest stuff, the coolest stuff people hatched out this year. Um, oh yeah. There's a good chance that you'll be able to see it. Awesome. Yeah. That'll be really, that'll be a really fun show. And so definitely let us know if you're going there. And also, Ben, you're going to a pretty cool party at Canova's facility, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So this is towards the end of October, I think the 26th. Um, so mm -hmm. really cool thing that Canova does for their Patreon members. They have get together. And uh, so this one, October 26th, I'll get to be there and, and uh, talk animals, talk uh, business. And uh, also, obviously, I'll always talk about genetic testing to anyone who wants to. <laughs> but uh yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That should be fun. And you know, people that are part of Canova's Patreon, they, they get, you know, a lot of really cool information. And like the uh, the show that we did where we talked about the cryptic and puzzle clutch, you know, that's something people in their Patreon got to see you know, yeah. happening, kind of had a heads up. And so, so yeah, I think it's something they're, they're uh, really providing uh, a good service and, and good information. Uh, quality stuff for their Patreon members. And so I'm looking forward to meet meeting several of you there. And so once again, let us know in the comments if you're going to be at, at the Canova Patreon party or if you're going to be at any of these shows. Uh, we'll look forward to talking to all of you at those. Oh, yeah, that sounds like fun. Um, like, just, oh, my gosh, I think that like that would be an extremely cool experience just to go to their facility. Um, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Take some pictures when you're up there. It's um, a beautiful place, that's for sure. It's, I bet. it's really cool to see, you know, such a professionally done setup. I've been in I a bet. lot of snake rooms, and it's nice to see one where, you know, they're able to do this as, like, top-notch. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah, I bet it's clean and pretty. Um, and, you yeah, know, little snake nerd paradise, for sure. Um, and... Uh, uh, lastly, um, the November 9th and 10th, we're going to the St. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri, NARBC. Um, I think Sean's attending that one, right? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Sounds Sean. good. All right. Um, so lots of stuff going off this fall. So lots of chances to meet us if you're going to any of these. Um, and we really look forward to seeing you guys. Uh, so let us know in the comments if you'll be there. Um, but as far as, uh, uh, sponsor uh, sponsees go. Um, another person we uh, we've started sponsoring is Rhinos Royals. Um, and uh, Ben, do you want to say some stuff about them? Yeah, I mean, I actually I think they they went out of their way to put together a uh, a little video to be able to show some of what they do both at shows and on their YouTube channel. And I, I think we should just give that a spin. The, Let's the do it. Two brothers that are uh, working hard, putting out really cool content and and educating, and also some specific things about some of the videos they do. We'll we'll talk about that after you watch this video. Yeah. That'll hopefully help clear up any of this respiratory infection that she's got. A lot of people think that they're able to unhinge their jaw. That's not true. Have a genuine, authentic conversation. Try to forget you're trying to sell them something. Just talk with them. Ball pythons are not a beginner pet. Yes, I said it, but let me explain. Snakes are amazing creatures, but why do so many people fear them? So, Red, has it been done before? The answer is no. This is a crime that this is the current price. I don't expect it to stay this high, and if it does, she will be mine. So, Suma, Exantic, again, because it can be a black and white snake. Nothing does this. These are literal stripes on this animal. That was awesome. 
Yes. They did so good with that. I love that they sent us a whole promo video and it's beautifully edited. edited. Yeah, so that's one of the, the main things that we really, really liked when we were looking at you know, people that are either going to shows or providing online content, uh, they, they do a really beautiful job with their their videos, uh, the production quality and the the uh, topics they talk about are very interesting. But I really love that they do the uh, each Friday they have a video come out where they talk about au auctions that are currently going on on Morph Market. And, yeah. uh, you know, potentially how good of a deal things are, but then also how to, you know, apply that, what, what kind of projects that might be really helpful in and, you know, stuff like that. And then uh, the other really cool videos they do is they do these walkthroughs at shows. They do a very thorough job. I think the one for Schomburg was like three or four hours long. So they'll wow. do, like a, they'll do like a, a shorter video to just kind of give an overview of the show. So you can see that, you know, and, and get a, a taste for what the show's like. Because, you know, obviously we can't all go to all the shows. Uh, but then a few days later, they release this very long, uh, comprehensive, detailed video. So if you really wanted to know what Schomburg was like, that's a, a beautiful way to be able to see what was, you know, who was there and what animals were there. And, you know, a lot of really cool information. And they do a beautiful job of it. It's really, really cool. That is really awesome. Um, and they actually said, uh, um, let's see, I think, I think we hit all the hot, all the hot topics there, but yeah, they really like, um, they're all about education, uh, education, educating members of the ball Python and reptile community, new and old. Um, and, uh, they say that they have, they do education, business stuff, morph highlights, egg cuttings, um, which I like egg cutting videos. I like seeing new babies taking their first breath. Oh my gosh. Um, so cool. Uh, Actually, and yeah. One of their videos they just put up, they talk specifically about how to do an egg cutting. So yeah. And how to safely do it. Yeah. They're wondering what it's like or nervous about it. That's a good video that I think they just put up within the last few days. Oh Yeah. Uh, for sure. Um, and they actually sent us a few pictures of some of their breeding projects. A lot of their stuff is still growing out, um, but they're super into monarch, which we got a picture of one of, uh, of their uh, main monarch male. Um, and they also do hognose snakes. So like redline albino hoggies, which I love. Um, and uh, they've got like a pastel, a really pretty pastel pet monarch, as well as a GHI project going on. Um, so really nice things going on over there and they're, I, th I think that they're, uh, definitely going to produce some really nice stuff in the future. So, um, we're really excited to be able to sponsor them. Yes. I think they're doing a, a very beautiful job of contributing and, you know, a, a big part of, uh, for me, I kind of learned this, I kind of relearned this during COVID, but a big part of, you know, being mentally, you know, healthy and, and happy, is having things you're sincerely excited about and yes. they're providing, you know, really cool. I think it's every Friday and was it Tuesday? Um, they have uh, a, I think so, yeah. up a couple of times a week and you know, that's a really good for, for those of us that are reptile nerds, love these, these animals and going to shows and, you know, seeing what's going on with auctions. They're just doing a really, really nice job of providing something we can all watch and, and get excited about each week. Exactly. And uh, there, and you know, that excitement is contagious. So it's definitely worth checking out. So uh, look in this in the description for the links to their stuff and uh, let us know what you think. Um, tell them we sent you. Uh, <laughs> um, and so lastly, we have our shed donor shout out. And this is Circle A Serpents who has the, some beautiful TSK. Uh, and I think they do they do MJ or just TSKs? Yeah. Um, well, mainly TSK. How about that? And they're stunning um and uh so we've asked in the past for like really really dark azanthics um uh and sheds from those animals to see if we can do uh, to see if we can figure out you know if there is a another gene at work causing this um extra expression in the azanthic lines and i mean look at that boy on the bottom left there that is <laughs> uh like oh my gosh he is so pretty um, and according to their morph market, apparently that guy, when he sheds, his sides become as blue as his eyes. <laughs> that is cool. Right? 
Yeah, and that's the tricky thing with the really dark azanthics from from what people have told me is you might hatch out a few azanthics and you don't know until they get, you know, older how dark they're gonna get. And so that's why we're hoping as as people like Circular Serpents did, any of you that have these really, really dark azanthics, exceptionally dark. Um, send those sheds in. Hopefully we can find, you know, there might be another gene or another place that's affecting the, the coloration and giving it that really dark look. And that way we would be able to select for it better because we could do a test right when they're born instead of keeping all of the babies, which is yep. impossible to do, we'll seeing which ones <laughs> are dark. We can test them right after they hatch and know which ones are most likely to be the darkest. Um, it'll take some time, but it's a cool project. And yeah, thank you, Circular Serpents, for for sending that in. And the rest, you know, there's several other people that have been collecting, working on gathering these really dark azanthics. So thank you to all of you, and especially Circle A. This is an awesome one to get a shed from. Definitely. Um, so yeah, I think that's all we got for today, Ben. Um, got anything else for us? That's it. I'm excited over these next few months to be able to see a bunch of you at the, the shows and get togethers. So definitely oh, yeah. let us know in the comments where you're going to be and uh, you know, look forward to talking with you all. All right. Well, thanks. And uh, everybody be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Um, and uh, we'll, I guess we'll see you next time and also at the shows. Uh, <laughs> so see you guys later and outro in three, two, one. Thank <laughs> you.